So here we are in the bar waiting to get underground to see the stand-up comedy show because in this venue, like in most indie venues around here, the concerts and theater stuff happens in the basement. Damn, that is one small room. The show itself was, yeah, it was pretty good. It was better than what I expected, at least. It ended early, so after that we went for a walk in the neighborhood, because the weather was nice. And uh, walking actually made us hungry, so we went to one of our favorite pizza joints in the neighborhood. And yeah, maybe one of our, our favorite pizza joints ever. They make some mean slices, even if they are actually square shaped. This is essentially garlic bread with duck confit on it. It's amazing. And uh, this other one that I got is truffles with wild mushrooms and, and several cheeses and arugula and it's all so mind-blowing. Fucking great pizza. Yeah. Then we went home because it was getting pretty late. Getting home means reuniting with the boys. Which at this time were waking up. waking up and preparing to go for their little breakfast. It's around 8 to 9 p.m. That's when they wake up. See how cute it is, the two alpha males are cuddling up together. And it segues into the next day, uh, when, yeah, this is around noon, when we woke up, and they are actually falling asleep. Here you can see them taking what is essentially their dinner. Rats are essentially nocturnal, so noon is when they take their dinner and prepare to go to sleep. See, one of them is already falling asleep. What you are going to experience in a few seconds is, wait and see, a bug of my video editing software that I was too late into the editing process to correct. Sorry about that. Then it was time to make lunch, so I decided to make, because I had a craving, one of my favorite pasta recipes of all time. It's called pasta aglio e olio e peperoncino, and basically you need a lot of garlic to make it. This is a minimum amount of garlic you need to make this recipe. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, I put this much for only one person, but this time I was making it for the both of us. Me and my Dakimakuru. I was going to try this uh, life hack that you can see everywhere on Pinterest and, and life hack websites and, and culinary tricks websites when you cut up the tip and bottom of every clove of garlic and then put them in a Tupperware and shake vigorously and they should end up after a few seconds uh, completely peeled. So I am going to try this before your very eyes. Will it work? Will it not? You will have your answer in about one minute. Ready? We are going into hyperdrive in 3, 2, oh, no, already, oops, and yeah, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture, which is, by the way, something that you should never do, you should never shake a Polaroid picture, it can fuck up the colors and completely damage your picture, actually, this is an absolutely really misleading song, shame on you, Mr. Andre 3000, shame. 
absolute worst lighting conditions to use the slow motion mode. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I remember the lesson. This is awful, but it's also quite funny. And yeah. Uh, this is way too long and way too ugly, but yeah, it was fun to make, so... I'm keeping it. Anyway, the garlic cloves, were they peeled? Well, yeah, more than half of them were completely peeled, actually. This life hack actually properly works, and even the, the ones that did not get totally peeled were really easy to peel and it's because I didn't cut up properly the tip or the bottom of the clove, so yeah. It is a good life hack. I'm keeping it. I use a lot of garlic uh, on a daily basis when I cook, so this is gonna be really useful to me. Then you gotta slice up the cloves. Don't slice them up too thin or the garlic will overcook you, you gotta be real fast when you cook the garlic. You can even just cut up the cloves in, in four or even in two, uh, because the garlic uh, cooks really, really fast, and uh, if you overcook it, you will lose all its flavor, and it's, uh, it's a really shame, and it's, uh, you, you wanna avoid that, really. Anyway, it, it should cook for a, around one minute, not more than that, or you will lose the flavor. It should be just toasted. Then. You put a big pot of water on boiling mode with a generous helping of salt. Then you cut up and slice and dice and I don't know the real verb but you will see what I mean. The parsley, you need a lot of parsley. Actually that's not really a lot of parsley. But yeah, you need a one, one good handful. Usually people do this mistake when they will skimp on fresh herbs while cooking, but uh, fresh herbs when they go when they are um, when heat is applied to them, they reduce in size as well as in flavor. So if you cook with fresh herbs, you really need a lot or something that will look like a lot to a non-experienced person, but it's actually not a lot. One good handful for one person. So, this is just for two people. I have a knife. Watch out, haters. Anyway, when the water is boiling, well, uh, you gotta unlid. Rem remember the milkshake video, unlidding is intense, so be careful. Then you put the pasta in the boiling water, obviously. Here you can see that I choose capellini, which are my favorite type of pasta. But uh, I don't remember what is traditional to use for this recipe, spaghetti or linguine or even tagliatelle or whatever. Uh, I don't... knock yourself out. Yeah, have fun. Then you take a frying pan and you put a nice helping of olive oil in it and you heat it up. And when the oil is hot, you put the garlic slices in it. Remember that garlic cooks really fucking fast, so you should not waste time at this point. It should cook for around one minute, maximum. It should be just lightly toasted or it would lose all its flavor. Put it around like this with a, with a wooden spoon or some thing of your choice, silicon or whatever, and yeah. Right after that you put the red pepper, dried red pepper flakes. Uh, in my opinion that's the least important part of the recipe. The dried red pepper is traditional to put in there, but I don't think it's a really worthy addition. I think it's probably to do the Italian flag thing, where they always put the green thing, the white thing, and the red thing. Here the green is the parsley, the white is the garlic, and the red is the red pepper. But yeah, I don't think it's uh, really important. If you don't have some, it's fine, just use some cracked black pepper, it should be fine. Then you add 
half of the parsley uh, in there and uh, yeah, just uh, wait a bit, that, you know, only a few seconds and your pasta should already be ready and sitting in a colander, so that's when you put it in there. I let my pasta sit a bit too long in the colander, so you can see it's uh, too sticky, but it's, it's fine if you work it real good it will blend into the mixture real fine so yeah only a few seconds put it in there like mix it real good and then add the other half of the parsley a nice helping of lemon juice mix it just a, a little bit more with your wooden spoon and then serve it that's how it looks pretty amazing but the taste the taste is much better than the looks it's really brilliant and yeah it's if it's not overcooked it's perfect if it's overcooked it's tasteless so be fast and the smell was so good that it woke up actually some of the boys who went in for an extra meal during their nap uh, that's quite funny and that's how we are going to end this day actually the day is not ended but you will see the rest in the next vlog another cliffhanger Wow, amazing, epic, this is so next gen.